Good morning, people of YouTube. This is Cruise Man, and it's Sunday morning. And I might add, it is a beautiful Sunday morning. It is about 65 degrees right now. And I am just leaving the grocery store here at Market Street. I guess we're in Carrollton or Plano. I'm not exactly sure where we are. But I often come here after having breakfast with Don. Uh, some of you know Don Smith from his channel, TexasTulane.com. He and I had breakfast this morning at a wake. And then I come over here to Market Street, do a little shopping. It's the best grocery store. And a little better than Kroger, actually, I think. They have better produce and Sundays, I kind of do a little cooking, maybe uh, prepare like a little Mediterranean lunch for Ricky and I. And it is going to be up to 80 degrees today. It was 50 degrees when I left the house this morning to uh, ride over to Awake. And it was, um, I guess that was at about 6.30 this morning. It was 50 degrees out, and now it's already up to 65. And it's supposed to get up to 80 degrees today, maybe even higher. So that's a 30-degree increase in just a few hours. And almost no wind today. I mean, it's just perfectly calm out. Just really a gorgeous morning for riding the bike. In fact, when I got off the bike at the grocery store, one of the ladies got out of her car next to me and she said, boy, it's a nice day for a ride. And uh, she couldn't have been more correct. It really is just beautiful out. Clear skies. Now next week, we're supposed to get some rain for a few days. Thunderstorms and rain. But uh, I'm going to enjoy it while I can. In fact, I'll probably use today and to ensure that it will rain next week. You know what I'm going to do, right? I'm turning off my heated seat. I don't need it. To ensure that it will rain next week, I think I'm going to wash the car today and wash the bike. So that's almost like a uh, weather forecast guarantee. So tell me what the weather's like where you live. Uh, are you getting decent riding weather yet? And would also like to uh, give a shout out to all of our international watchers around the world. Uh, Jed down in Australia always sends me a photo of my videos and a thumbs up. He actually took the windshield off of his, I think he's got a 2015 or 16 Goldwing, I'm not sure. But he actually took the windshield off of his Goldwing and is riding it with no windshield uh, just to uh, stay cool. And we have many uh, followers in the UK and Spain and Dubai and Abu Dhabi and all just all over the world people uh, are watching Cruise Man's Garage. Now yesterday I put out a video on the Pathfinder LED. Now, I'm going to try to get this right because it's a long name. Rear Saddlebag Dynamic Sequential LEDs which I installed on Don's bike. I talked about them in my last motor vlog and I put out the install video yesterday and it's been extremely popular video with more than uh, I think it's around 4,000 views in the first 24 hours which on my channel anything over 2,000 or 2,500 views in the first 24 hours is considered a very successful video so there's a lot of interest in this product and I, and I understand why it, it is a really cool lighting product. So I don't think those are going to be available until June. But uh, my friends over at SoCal Moto Gear asked me to go ahead and put the video out. 
kind of see what response they got and apparently it's been very good please be patient with all these vendors uh, as I said in my last motor vlog there are a lot of delays because of the pandemic and also because of this Suez Canal issue a lot of things that come from China or from uh, Asia in general come through the Suez Canal and when that Suez Canal was uh, blocked for a few days many of these cargo ships made the decision to go ahead and rather than wait for that ship to get cleared they made the decision just to turn around and go around the Horn of Africa and that adds several weeks to the uh, the shipping process that Suez Canal cuts off about four to five weeks of sailing so there are delays and probably I would guess hundreds of cargo ships uh, over that period of time made the decision rather than to wait for the Suez Canal to reopen to just go ahead and go around the Horn of Africa or the southern tip of Africa I call it the Horn of Africa but it's uh, it's a pretty long journey so please be patient with SoCal Motor Gear and their new products now tomorrow I will be releasing an installation video and a review of the Pathfinder LED power accessory hub now those of you that know and watch the channel you've been watching for a long time you know that for many, for ever since the 2018 Goldwing came out I've been using the uh, another isolator fuse block but if you're familiar with the channel you know which one I'm talking about many of you have that and I will tell you up front that there's nothing wrong with that brand there's nothing wrong with that product it's a good it, it's a good product I used it for almost three years however I do feel like this new one from Pathfinder LED has some real advantages I, first of all I like the compact size and it is weatherproof and it's all digital so it's got some advantages if you already have the other isolator you're probably okay you shouldn't have to just replace it unless you just wanted to but if you haven't installed an isolator yet to protect your CAN bus electrical system you should really consider it and if you're going to buy an isolator you might want to consider this one from Pathfinder LED but I get emails every day all the time saying uh, if I use this plug-and-play harness from Gold Strike let's say can I add lights from Pathfinder LED using that harness and all of these plug-and-play harnesses from these various manufacturers are all proprietary so they all have their own proprietary connectors because they all assume you're only going to buy products from them so they didn't really design in a way for you to add products from other manufacturers to their plug-and-play harness so you ask them can I daisy chain these plug-and-play harnesses so that I could have Pathfinder LED lights connected to their harness and maybe Gold Strike or Curry Hawkins products connected to their harness and you could have multiple harnesses in in a daisy chain effect technically yes you can do that but it is almost unmanageable because of the size of the harnesses and how little space there is underneath the seat of a Goldwing there really isn't room to daisy chain more than maybe two harnesses and even then you're pushing it so rather than buying all these plug-and-play harnesses from different manufacturers which by the way do nothing to protect your CAN bus electrical system they're all plugging directly into the CAN bus and there's nothing in those plug-and-play harnesses that protect the CAN bus they're just giving you access to the electrical current a better solution is something like an isolator or a power accessory hub 
and what that's doing is that is deriving the power to drive your accessories directly from the battery. It bypasses that CAN bus electrical system. And that's what I recommend. Now when you do that, you'll be required to cut off the little plug and play connectors off of your accessories and you're basically just going to wire them into this uh, isolator or power accessory hub. And it's just a cleaner, better way to do an installation. In fact, I have a whole video on my wiring strategy on how I wired up my accessories. And I will be modifying that video showing the new power accessory hub from Pathfinder LED. I just haven't had time to make that video yet. But I will update that video using that new power accessory hub. Let me know what you think of the Pathfinder LED lights, the new ones for the saddlebags, the rear lights. I've had a lot of good comments so far. Got one of those loud Mustangs up here. I can't even hear myself talk. So something I don't mention very often, I always say, you know, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. I always go through that little routine because I noticed on my 2021 Goldwing review video, I was looking at some statistics the other day. And did you know that that video has already had 80,000 views? And over 70% of the people who viewed that video are not subscribers to my channel. So I would invite you to click that subscribe button and click the little bell. And when you click that little bell icon, that tells YouTube that you want to be notified whenever we come out with new videos. So I appreciate it if you subscribe. I don't make any money for subscribers. You know, YouTube doesn't pay us based on subscriptions. Um, and if you don't want to subscribe, you think, well, I'll just be ha harassed with notifications. I understand that. But uh, I appreciate it if you do subscribe. I, I really appreciate the thumbs up on the videos. And something else I don't mention very often is please share this video with your friends and share all my videos. If, you have a, if I have a video that you like, click that little share button and share it on your Facebook page or on wherever through your emails or whatever just share it with your friends and so I'm going to end this video by saying what I always say ride safe and I'll see you on the next cruise man's motor vlog